What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech and I'm going to show you how to make free Wi-Fi calling using the Google Home speaker. It's only available in the US and Canada, but other countries are gonna be available later on. It does not call 911 and it does not record your conversations, but it can call your local police department if you ask it. Hey Google, call Tampa Police Department. Calling Tampa Police Department on North 30th Street. All right, so if you want to hang up, just tap the top of the Google Home speaker to hang up, or you could command Google, just say, hang up. You can also ask Google to call the movie theater. And if you have your location set on and it's accurate, then it would contact the closest movie theater to you. Hey Google, call AMC Movie Theater. Calling AMC Highwoods 20 on Highwoods Preserve Parkway in Tampa. Thank you for calling AMC. And you can raise the volume. Please and then you can lower the volume and you could just tap on the top of the Google Home speaker to hang up once again. You could also tell Google to call individual phone numbers. Hey Google, call 813-777-7777. Calling 813-777-7777. Alright, so I'm going to hang up because that's actually a taxi company. Google also can call any of your contacts on your phone if your phone is synced to your Google account. To do that, I'm going to show you. You just tap on the Google Home app right here, click on menu, select more settings. This is my office home speaker right here, listed under devices, and make sure personal results is activated and make sure your device address is accurate. You want to download the Google app. And you can do so on iPhone or your Android phone. Open up the Google app, click on menu, click on settings, click on accounts and privacy, then click on Google activity controls, device information, select that, and make sure that is activated and it is and make sure your device information is the same as a Google account that you use to set up the Google speaker. Next, if you want to add a contact and make sure Google Home can recognize it, you type in a phone number. All right, I'm going to add two contacts, create contact on the drop arrow. Select the arrow and you don't want to save it to the phone or SIM card or Yahoo. You want to see, save it to the same Google account as you use to set up the Google Home speaker. And select save. Now when I select taxi right here, it says it's connected via Google. So it's synced to your Google account. If you don't see that, you can delete your contact and re-enter your contact. Make sure you're connected to the Google account. On iPhone, you could do so by selecting your contacts, select account, add account, and then add a Google account. But make sure you have the Google app installed on your phone. Now it may not recognize right away, it may take a couple minutes to sync. Now it can also call using your nicknames. If you want to say, um, call my sister, you could do so. Hey Google, call my sister. Who is your sister? Katrina. Remember Katrina Foster as your sister? Yes. All right, so now next time when I ask Google to call my sister, it would know automatically to call uh, Katrina, my sister. Hey Google, call my sister. Calling Katrina Foster mobile. I can even tell it to call my phone if I lost my phone. Hey Google, call Paul. Calling Paul mobile. Now if you noticed, it says private number. If you connect your Google Home app to the Google Voice app, you can actually link your phone number to the Google Home speaker. Now for some reason, it doesn't work and you updated the apps and your Google Home is updated, what you can do is you can reset the Google Home speaker by simply unplugging the power cord for 30 seconds and plugging it back in. 
This would hard reset the Google Home speaker. You can also do it through the app. Click on the Home app, select Menu, Devices, select the three dots under your Google Home speaker, and you can select Reboot. If it still doesn't work for some reason, then you can reset your wireless modem slash router. But make sure the Google Home speaker is within 30 feet of that wireless router. If you guys want to learn more about the Google Home speaker Wi-Fi calling, you can check out Tech with Brett's video he just launched a few days ago. And you can also check out It's Rose. Her YouTube video was really good on the Google Home speaker as well. And if you know anyone that's interested in the Google Home speaker, click on the share button below and share this video to someone, help someone out. If you found this video informative, give me a big thumbs up. If you want more how-to videos like this coming your way, click on the subscribe button right here or down below. And if you want to check out my other how-to videos, click on this playlist right here. Thanks guys for watching.